no here's the thing this is what I want to share with you guys like sometimes you just know when you have to quit something you know what I mean even if even if you committed to something or even if you know it seems on the outside like it's good for you you know what's best for you like there's a voice inside you that tells you this is not right like this is not okay this is not working for me you have to listen to that voice you know what i mean and that doesn't always mean quitting sometimes that means adjusting sometimes that means addressing issues but you just have to listen to your inner voice and know yourself well like nobody else can tell you what's best for you seriously like nobody hey y'all what's going on it's athena amoeba and today <sighs> We're gonna talk about why I quit the 60 day fitness challenge. Honestly, I got pretty far into it. I am, we are on week six, so I got pretty far, but uh, there are some good reasons why I'm quitting. Now, that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop being healthy, that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop exercising or eating well, it just means I'm quitting this specific challenge. So in this video, first I'm gonna go over how I actually did in the first six weeks of this challenge, then I'm gonna talk about why I quit the challenge, and finally what that looks like moving forward and how do I plan to stay on track with my fitness goals without doing this challenge. Before I go on, I just wanna say thank you all so much for watching, thank you all so much for the love and support you give, I really feel it and I send it back to you tenfold thank you so much for being amazing seriously first overview of how i actually did in the first couple weeks of this challenge honestly i impressed myself weeks one and two all right for those of you who don't know what the challenge is i made a video last week explaining what the meal plan was what the exercise expectations were and uh more details about the challenge so if you don't know what that is yet you can check that video out first and i'll put the description <laughs> and i'll put the link in the description below so how i did week one honestly i i pretty much crushed it okay coming in from somebody who has not worked out in forever somebody who's completely out of shape somebody whose eating habits are complete garbage week one i did so good i was proud of myself especially because i was having the craziest week that week I lost my car keys, I lost my wallet, I lost everything. I couldn't drive myself anywhere and I still went to every single workout that I was supposed to do and I pretty much was exact with the diet except for a couple of things. Um, I ate bananas that week. Bananas aren't on the list but I ate them because we had them. It really changed my relationship with food because before that I mean, to me, like a cheat meal would be a piece of pizza, but it kind of became like, ooh, I get to have a banana or I'm having a banana and that's that's bad, right? So to, to kind of reframe how I see certain foods or what foods I consider to be like a treat or a cheat, that was a big game changer, honestly. So I did eat bananas. I had some extra like strawberries that I wasn't supposed to have on the meal plan, but overall I ate really well. So I was really impressed with myself week one. Week two was pretty much the same. I did I did all the workouts. I worked out every day except for my rest days because every week you do get a rest day. I didn't have a cheat meal either of the first two weeks. Everything that I ate, I documented on my Instagram. So again, if you're interested in knowing the exacts, you can go check out my Instagram account and I'll put the link in the description below. But yeah, weeks one and two, I pretty much crushed it even though I had all of this these external obstacles and I had like the worst allergies in the world and I still did so good. Week three is when things really started to catch up to me and I was just feeling exhausted. I was feeling stressed out and my knees were hurting and my ankle was messed up and I pulled a muscle in my stomach so I really felt like I, I couldn't do anything. So that was really the first week that I kind of took a step back from the workouts. I still worked out that week but I didn't even come close to working out. Uh, six days. They kept adding to the amount of calories that we were supposed to burn for session and I just felt like I couldn't keep up with it. I felt like I was working out for hours every day and I was losing my fucking mind. Like outside of working, that's all I was doing was just exercising. Exercising or washing dishes or doing laundry. Like that's it. But I met with my team leaders. They kind of talked with me about changes I could make. Um, you know, adapting the expectations for me. So I was like, okay, I can do this. 
However, going into week four, I still just felt that pressure. I felt all the pressure. I felt all the stress. Finally, week five, I, I just, I couldn't, I just couldn't do it anymore. I was just feeling so stressed out and it wasn't even doing it that was stressing me out. It was just like the pressure that was weighing heavy on my mind and feeling like I wasn't doing enough or feeling like I wasn't good enough. Um, and that the things that I were doing weren't enough. It just put so much pressure on me. I don't like to feel like I'm failing. I don't like to feel like I'm not doing good enough because I already in general feel like I'm not good enough or doing good enough, right, all the time. And it started to spill into other areas of my life and it started to affect me at work. I started to get panic attacks at work. I was just like really stressed out. So I was like, oh, I think I need to quit this thing. I think it's affecting me in a negative way. I finally decided this this past week that I unofficially quit. So that's why I quit. I feel like it wasn't good for me because I've really been trying to get better habits with eating. I've been trying to develop a healthy relationship with having an active lifestyle. And this was making me resent having an active lifestyle. This was making me not wanna work out at all. Even though I was making progress, I lost 10 pounds you know, in a month, which is pretty good. It wasn't good for my emotional or mental health because I was literally going crazy. What this means moving forward though, I'm not like, oh, I'm quitting, now I'm gonna eat pizza, fuck working out, fuck eating healthy. No, not at all. I'm still going to use um, the basic principles of what I've been doing over the past six weeks as a guide. I'm still not gonna have any dairy um, unless it's like a cheat meal, but even then I'm not gonna eat cheese because cheese is so dangerous for me I will just get right hooked back on it and that's like all I want to eat. So I'm not eating cheese um, I'm gonna keep mostly eating whole foods The big difference is I won't have to meal prep as much because I'm super lucky and at work they feed us so Instead, I'm just gonna use these principles to make wise choices about the food that I eat at work, right? Instead of like having to cook so much food. It's like really a lot of food that you have to cook on this challenge. It's too much meal prep, to be honest. Stick to pretty much whole foods. Maybe have one cheat meal a week. Some, uh, you know, I went four weeks without having a cheat meal, so maybe I'll go longer, but at the most one cheat meal a week. As far as working out, I really do want to work out at least four times a week, which is what I was doing before I started this challenge. Um, and I'm gonna do a mix of riding my bike. Finally, when it stops fucking raining, it's been raining here for so long. So riding my bike, going to the gym that I joined, which is like the weightlifting and um, hit workouts. And then I wanna find a third thing that I enjoy. I, I really like dancing, but I, you know, everything costs money, so it just depends on if I will have the funds to join something else. But I just, I have to find a third activity that I enjoy just so that I don't get bored, you know? So that's kind of what I plan to do moving forward. I'm not completely quitting. I'm not completely giving up on being healthy or my weight loss goals, but I'm just quitting this insane challenge that really just brought me stress. Yes, definitely there was good results that came from it as well, so I'm grateful for that. But moving forward, I'm all about the lifestyle change, not about these quick solutions. I'm not looking to lose like 20 pounds in one week. I want a lifestyle change that's gonna be long lasting, sustainable, and so I don't gain the weight back, so I don't fall back into old habits, you know? So you just have to you just have to know yourself, know what's best for yourself. For me, I'd rather quit this challenge now and continue with healthy habits than try to keep going and burn myself out and then fall right back into bad habits, you know? So just know yourself, trust yourself, listen to your inner voice, listen to your intuition. That's what I'm doing and um, I'm excited to see where the next couple weeks will take me, where the next couple months. I'm just ready for this for this change, this overall transformation of my lifestyle and life. Thanks for watching. Sending you all love. Hope that whatever it is you're working towards or trying to do, just be kind to yourself, listen to yourself, and make adjustments when necessary. Sending you love.